Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. Apologies, fourth video of the day today. Nobody watched the last one. I've just come back in. I mean, you've been gobbling up the other two, but the last one's... I don't know. It's sorry, hotels. Oh, gives a shite. Fair point, fair enough. Uh, but I hope you uh, stick with us for a fourth. And uh, to all the uh, nosy people wondering where I've been tonight, your mum's doing well. Uh, so... When I do the ratings videos, I'm kind of like hot off the press. When I say hot off the press, I'm waiting for the initial uh, overnight to come through. And it is subject to change. And during the course of the week, they do tend to get amended slightly. However, it's not normally the rating which gets amended. That pretty much stays as is. You might see a tiny fluctuation with it. It's normally the demo that gets tweaked as, as better figures come in for, for the actual demos itself. And so I think it's fine and fair to, to give those ratings out. Oh! <laughs> no, no, no! The Batwoman ratings were not accurate. And the Batwoman ratings have been adjusted accordingly. Now, let's get into it, shall we? Don't panic. This is Supergirls. Supergirl, for the first time last week, beat Batwoman in the ratings, which was very telling indeed. Why? Because not only did Supergirl pretty much keep up with the series average, which says that people that were watching the show pre-Christmas... Yes, we had the Crisis Anomaly. Don't worry about that rating. That was part of the crossover. But the people that are watching pre-Christmas came back pretty much post-Christmas. And even this week, where it's dropped slightly, lost 30,000 viewers, dropped 3.33%, it's still kind of holding on to where it's been for the most-ish part. It's not falling off a cliff per se when you go from really like the second episode where things are settling in to the latest episode but fifth season this week and last week both beat batwoman wait a minute as this can't have beaten batwoman because batwoman did like an eight point you know zero point eight and eight point a zero point eight six ish well like I said, the ratings have been amended. Ladies and gentlemen, Batwoman got hit by a truck. And this time she didn't get up. They have taken off 200,000 viewers to amend the episode. Oh, no. So it didn't raise slightly in the ratings from the previous week. And as I stressed in the video yesterday, some people decided, possibly speculated, shall we say, that this low, low rating, considering to what it used to be pre-Christmas, which is shit in itself, was because people weren't aware that the show had returned. I mean, even though Supergirl herself holds steady on what she normally does, Batwoman's found herself 200 plus thousand people down. So if we were to give it the benefit of the doubt, when we saw the ratings from this week, it was 0.86 something or other, which meant that a, a few people came back, but ultimately the show was since Christmas losing at least 150,000. No, no. The amended ratings are far, far worse. Nearly 15% down on the previous week. <laughs> oh my god. And if you look at this week compared to the last rating before Christmas. Again, we do not count the Crisis crossover. Because it is a, a once in a season special event. And doesn't represent how the series would actually do. Because you're drawing in an audience that wouldn't normally watch the show. We've gone from just holding on to a million to 325,000 plus people down in that time. And what's even worse for the show, 
is it now goes on another three-week hiatus. It didn't hold up well on the hiatus after Christmas. People use that as a great excuse to drop off from the show. And what have we seen since the two episodes of it coming back? Absolutely disgraceful stories, which I put... I'm straight, and I find them insulting. Massively insulting. So I don't think the storylines in itself are helping but this in this first rating from the previous week shows that people just didn't want to come back after christmas and then this rating is a response to the week before which as i said was a disgusting show a disgraceful show and then this week they doubled down they doubled down and they made it even worse and now they're saying see you in three weeks folks by the way, we got renewed for a season two. So when this comes back, I think on the 16th of February, what on earth is the rating going to be? Because after these two, I think it's giving plenty of excuse for people to, to further leave the show. I think it's quite apparent where the writers sit when it comes to this and the showrunner. Not interested in making a show that's uh, engaging and entertaining for its audience they are literally looking to preach and not just preach terribly so as well i i wouldn't i if i had children i wouldn't let them watch this not because of the uh, sexuality of the character because of the way that the showrunner and the writers are portraying her which is a mitigated it's it's, it's awful absolutely awful so they're not looking to create a show for an audience. They're looking to create a show, as I've said, for themselves. But holy shit, this is, this is, this is, I cannot remember any show which has been renewed for another season and then been cancelled before it's come out. <laughs> but we have only gone halfway through the season, which does include a crisis episode. No more crossovers to come, folks. <laughs> no more crossovers to come. No more artificial boosts for the ratings or the demo. And if you look at the demo, it's down to a 0.10. It's down 50%. This is not connecting with your target audience. Your target audience is saying, see ya, this show. Which I say on a weekly basis in the reviews. And you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven shows, and you've been renewed. I'm telling you, folks, if this trend does continue, and it's not just a downward trend, but it's 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 people just jumping off the ship. This is the Titanic. It is sinking faster than you know. Week one, 1.86 million, which was bad enough for a debut show. Week 11, technically 10, because you've got to take the crossover out of the equation, 0 0.674, and you've got half your season left. This could not happen to a better show. This show is getting everything that it deserves. It's getting every single thing back, reflected back on it, that the showrunner and the writers are giving to the audience. This is your response. And it's not the audience's fault. It's yours. Solely yours. So well done for renewing for season two. I'm still not convinced we're ever going to see it. But well done. And good luck. Because <laughs> I, can, I, I, can, I can't see how this show can recover. To recover, right, very briefly, to recover, right, there has to be a drastic change in writing, a serious drastic change in writing. There has to be a change so drastic that the actual main character becomes likable, the main character has a true motivation to go forward, the main character actually becomes a hero, the main character does heroic things to save Gothamites, the, the, the main character actually truly gains the respect of Gotham, which it hasn't done at all in the series so far. 
And that's just the main character. Never mind the rest of the cast, which are just wet blankets. Nothing to them. Reap what you sow. Well done, Batwomans. Hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, do get a thumbs up. And also subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media and Twitch for live streaming. Links are in the description box down below. And I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care. Bye for now.